Hi fellas, it's Nick. We're going to have some fun running some post-war trains. The ones that you see here, the Santa Fe with the blue and yellow scheme. It says it was built 1957. I hooked it up with some cars that are also in that year in the 50s and some might be in, in the 60s. So I'm just going to have some fun running this one. And I have also about two or three more uh, engines I'm going to hook up to this particular train so I'll stop the video put the other ones on at first I thought the diesel engine couldn't pull the, uh, the amount of cars that it has on it some of them are kind of heavy cars, but as you can see, she's really doing a nice job pulling. But unfortunately, this engine doesn't have a whistle. It has a light in the direction of the unit. As it comes around, I'll stop it and we'll put it in reverse and see if, if she can push the train in reverse. Well, she's working hard. It seems it put it pulls it better than pushing. I hope maybe it'll build up some speed, but I think we're not going to force it. We don't want to damage the motor. So I'm going to make it go forward. Yeah, forward? Fine. Not a problem. I'll let it run around one more time and I'll hook up the other diesel in that same year. I tell you, I really like the paint scheme on it. You know, it's 1957. It seems to be in pretty good condition. All right, I'm going to shut off and put the other engine on. Well, I tried the 8152 pulled the train, but it was just too weak. And also, 8351 Santa Fe, it also was too weak of a motor to pull them. I was trying to maybe hook them up together, but as you notice, they don't have a front coupler, so I can't hook them up and maybe I'm gonna have them both pull the train, but it's just not gonna work. I do like the paint scheme of the Santa Fe with the blue and the yellow stripe and the silver. And then on the other engine, the 8152, which is eerie with the green and yellow and the tan in it. Really nice paint scheme. They're both the same engine, just different road names and paint schemes. But uh, unfortunately, they're just not strong enough to pull that train. I have another steam engine. Let's see if that one might pull it. Well, here's the other steam engine I was telling you about. It's a 242 with the tender, and the tender is sheet metal. But the engine is cast iron, and there's a nameplate right here that says, Built by Lionel and the number is 1655. Now one of the reasons this engine is going to pull it is I put a traction tire on one of the drive wheels. Pulls it nice, slow but nice. Try it now. Here we go. As you see, she just picked up. And there she goes. I cleaned the contacts and the uh, wheels. And that engine was built in 4950. It doesn't have a smoke unit in it, but it does have a light in it. And it has directional relay in it. I don't know how it's going to be pushing it. We'll see. There you go. Yeah, it's pushing pretty good. And that's a heavy train for that engine. Compared to the diesels, they 
couldn't even pull it to the uh, the Santa Fe and the Aries user, but as you can see, traction tire does help a lot. Without that traction tire, it would just keep flipping. I heard the really click. Ah, interesting. There we go. Oh, I think we're going. There it is. I like running the old post-war engines every so often. It brings back nice memories. And all those cars you see are from the 50s and 60s. Well, it doesn't have a smoke in it, but it does have a light in it. We'll let it run around one more time. Now, start the video. Well, those are my post-war engines that I have. Well, I have two more. I have one steam engine, but it's plastic. I doubt whether it'll pull, but we'll put it on just to see. Have some fun. All right, definitely not. She's too light. No, uh, that was probably made to pull coal car, maybe two other light cars. Oh, I'll shut it off. And I have one more engine. That's engines the Santa Fe with the war bonnet, a scheme and the B car. And that was part of a set that my folks bought for me one Christmas. I believe it's 1957. And uh, it'll pull the cars. There's 11 cars on here, but she pulls it slow, but she will pull it. Let's try and see it. As you can see, she's pulling it, but she's picking up a little bit of speed. I'll let her run a little bit. I don't want to damage the motor and overheat it. It has a light, a whistle, and a reverse unit. I had a lot of fun with that engine. I still do. I'll shut the camera off. Everybody have a great day. Bye now.